The partnership in Bolsover has been established for quite a long time now, probably uh, well over 20 years. And what it does, it brings together all the different organisations and agencies that work in Bolsover, including people like the council, the police, education, health. Wherever you've got an inequality, it doesn't tend to be a single theme. And what I think we've done particularly well is bring people together to have conversations about how we can work together to tackle those inequalities that in impact on everybody. Bolsover Partnership is an integral and, and essential part, even more so today, uh, uh, in ambitions of Bolsover District Council or districts as a whole. We've gone from strength to strength and it is fantastic to have such a partnership that we're proud of in Bolsover. We've got a history of over two decades, so there's been a lot of really successful projects that have, um, we've been able to fund through a number of different uh, funding streams. Fusion Learning is a programme that's been open to Year 11 uh, students in the Bolsover schools, and the aim has been for those students to gain employability skills within an engineering workshop. There was a fear of failure, there was a, there was a lack of a aspiration, there was anxiety added. And as a result, young people tended to have much lower aspirations of what they wanted to do in future. The DBP worked with local secondary schools to identify uh, a cohort that they felt would gain a lot from this opportunity. The aim around the Fusion Learning Project was to give young people a good insight into heavy engineering, f fabrication and welding, raise those aspirations into employment and demonstrate that there are massively well-paid employment opportunities out there for young people coming out of school. It's helped them to identify what they want to do next, whether that's entering the world of work, whether they feel prepared for that, or whether they want that more nurturing environment that a college course would provide for them. We had this idea of making a mammoth sculpture. All of our students have something to be proud of, something that's going into the public domain that they can say to their children, I made that. I've contributed back to my society, my community. Bolsover Partnership has been working with the local communities, with the migrant background for more than 10 years now. I was involved in the delivery of the ESOL classes, which is English for speakers of other languages, which was delivered in Shirebrook. We focus on day-to-day language, so going to the shops, going to the doctors, going to school, finding a job to ensure that the learners are then able to go out there and use those tools independently. The progress that we've seen among the students, that makes us proud the most. The Council is involved with the UK Shared Prosperity Fund. We've also had rural funding that we've acquired. A district like Bosover that it's pretty rural, it survives and it relies on its small businesses. Certainly we take a great interest and I take a great interest in people that do want grant funding and why they want it. Number four coffee shop, that's gone from strength to strength um, and we've paid for like a, a canopy over, over front of the shop and, and that's really taken off. The Pickle Pear is a community pub and um, small micro pub in Polston. It's always been a really tight-knit farming community and over the years as you get new people moving in and, and people pass away it starts to it started to lose some of the closeness there wasn't it, you know everybody knowing everybody we were lucky enough to buy this end property but it's it's been run down for the last sort of like 15 20 years we got um, some funding from Bolsover District Council on the Rural Development Fund grant we've had an immense amount of help from local residents um, friends um, builders Without the funding from Bolsover, it definitely wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have happened. And, you know, it's it's gone down really well in the community. Clown Enterprise, we're providing uh, a few of the elements of the uh, business in Bolsover program to help support the setting up and growth of businesses locally. From our perspective, the thing that we take most pride and satisfaction is 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 just being able to see businesses that have come to us with a challenge or with a problem or someone coming to us wanting to start a business and actually managing to achieve that, often through very much their, their own efforts, but you know, sometimes with a bit of guidance and prompting and support from us. And I, I think everyone that we see who has uh, 
taken a business and, and moved it forward and made a success of it is, is something that we take a great deal of satisfaction in. I manage the PALS programme, which stands for Physical Activity and Lifestyle Support. We will initially meet somebody. There's a lot of people in the area, it's a area of eye deprivation. Um, we will find out the reasons why they aren't physically active and then we'll start to unpick those situations and, and find solutions. I kept coming and I started to feel a difference myself in how I was feeling. And I'll never forget the day the equipment came and they set it up. And I used to like riding a bike until my spine gave out. And I remember seeing Craig and saying, I can't believe this, I can ride a bike. I've not been on a bike for over 20 years and this feels so good just to be able to do this. This is how we can get to the communities which are often the hardest to reach by walking together. Goals of a partnership have been really supportive all the way through really. It's obvious that they really want to make a difference and they want to kind of uplift this community. I think what makes me most proud is that the organisation is able to support people in need in the, and the partnership enables us to do that through multiple projects. There's nothing else like it. There's absolutely nothing, and, and there isn't to be fair, in terms of the PALS programme, there's, there's nowhere else what delivers what we deliver. If you're left in a dark place, it will only get darker. And these got me out of it, so I'll be forever grateful for what they've given me. If one person changes the, their life, if, if something changes in their life because of something Bowls Over Partnership has been able to deliver, for me, that's job done. Oh, it's got a rosy future. Everybody has a part to play and, you know, it's a, it really is an instrumental part in future at District. For us, it's about looking to see how we evolve, looking to see uh, what the next challenges are, but where the next opportunities are. I don't know what's around the corner, nobody does, but hopefully we will still have a partnership in the next 20 years, still making a difference in our area, still supporting by Bowles Over District Council and the partners.